Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us for today's commemoration and celebration of the Dakota High School Class of 2020. My name is Kevin Koskis, and as the proud principal of Dakota High School, I am honored to be with you today to mark the graduation of our 2020 seniors. Today we will celebrate nearly 750 graduates as they are presented later during today's ceremony. 22 years ago, it was my privilege as a first year social studies teacher to watch Dakota's first graduating class cross the stage at its commencement ceremony. 245 students crossed the commencement stage at 7 p.m. on a Friday night in Dakota's gymnasium. Today, we'll, we will be honoring Dakota's 23rd graduating class. After today, the class of 2020 will forever be part of Dakota's history. To formally open today's ceremony, I would like to introduce Delaney Guerin, who will be singing the Star Spangled Banner. All who are part of today's audience are invited to stand as we honor America, as well as the men and women of our armed forces. We also salute those who are fighting on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic as first responders and healthcare professionals. And now, Delaney Guerin. Thank you, Delaney. As we begin today's ceremony, I would like to take a moment to introduce the important members of our district and school leadership teams, all of whom work tirelessly to provide the best possible education for our students here in Chippewa Valley. I will start by introducing the members of the Chippewa Valley Board of Education. Our board president, Mr. Frank Bednard. Our vice president, Ms. Denise Aquino. Our secretary, Ms. Laura Cardamon. Our treasurer, Ms. J Jill Demink Zek. And our trustees, Mr. Andy Patzert, Ms. Beth Pyden, and Mr. George Sobaugh. From our central office administrative staff, I'd also like to introduce and recognize our district superintendent, Mr. Ron Roberts. Our assistant superintendent for human resources, Dr. Adam Blanchard. Our assistant superintendent for business and operations, Mr. Scott Setterland our Assistant Superintendent of Educational Services, Dr. Don Broski, our Executive Director of Secondary Education, Mr. Paul Sibley, our Executive Director of Elementary Education, Ms. Marina Lakari, our Executive Director of Innovation and Learning, Mr. Walt Kozlowski, our Director of State and Federal Programs and Outreach, Ms. Nicole Fainer, and our Coordinator of Assessment and Data Analysis, Mr. John Cafagna. I'd also like to introduce our building level administrative team from Dakota High School. Principal of the ninth grade center, Mr. Jonathan Jones. Assistant principal, Mr. Jason Breveris. Assistant principal, Ms. Ebony Carter. Assistant principal, Mr. Tom Downham. Assistant principal, Mr. Anthony Maniscalco. Administrative intern, Mr. Brian Hayes. Athletic director, Mr. Adam Demarest. Interim Athletic Director for the second semester of this school year, Mr. Michael Fusco, 
and our scheduling coordinator and data mining specialist, Ms. Nancy Coulter. And finally, for helping to plan today's ceremony as well as our other senior activities this year, I would like to thank our two senior class advisors, Dr. Tony McFarlane and Ms. Tracy Tancredi. Their dedication and creative thinking to help recognize and celebrate our seniors during this most unusual and trying end to the 1920 school year deserves recognition and tremendous appreciation. Thank you, Dr. McFarlane and Ms. Tancredi. Now we will take some time to recognize and honor two members of the Dakota High School staff. First, Mr. Scott Mitchell. Mr. Mitchell has been a teacher at Dakota High School since 1996. He is completing his 24th year at DHS and his 27th year of teaching overall, and he is retiring at the end of this school year. During his time at DHS, Scott has been the rock of our engineering and technical design program. Scott has had a tremendous impact at Dakota as a result of his work with students in innovating, designing, and building in our engineering program. Scott's dedication to his students is unmatched. His meticulous attention to detail and tenacious pursuit of excellence are his trademarks. He has helped to infuse those characteristics and values into countless students over the years. It goes without saying that Scott Mitchell has had a profound and lasting impact on Dakota High School and its students over the past two plus decades. We are grateful for everything that he has contributed to Dakota High School. On behalf of the DHS staff and all of the alumni students that Scott has worked with over the years, I want to say thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mitchell, and best wishes on a long and happy retirement. Next, I will recognize and honor this year's Dakota High School Teacher of the Year, Mr. Kyle Holland. Mr. Holland has been a teacher at Dakota for 15 years and was also recognized as Teacher of the Year in 2009-10 making him the only DHS teacher to ever have been honored with this award twice. His commitment and dedication to his students is special as he works tirelessly not only to help his students achieve academic success, but also to achieve personal success as young people. He is invested in his students to a depth that defies description. It is a true honor for me to call myself a colleague of Mr. Kyle Holland, and he is tremendously de deserving of being recognized as the 2019-20 DHS Teacher of the Year. We are incredibly grateful to have Kyle as a member of the Dakota staff, and we thank him for everything that he has done and continues to do for our students. Thank you, Mr. Holland. And now to the class of 2020. You came to DHS in the fall of 2016 as wide-eyed, energetic, and loud freshmen bounding through the halls of DHS 9. Over the years, you have grown academically and personally. I have enjoyed watching you grow and getting to know you, and I am thankful for the relationships I've built with many of you. I look forward to what amazing things your futures hold for you. While at Dakota, you've done some amazing things, and you've had a multitude of experiences. You've celebrated together, you've cried together, and you've, experiences, you've experienced things you will never forget. Thanks to many of you in this audience today, our bands and choirs continue to perform exceedingly well at local and state competitions. The Marching Cougars made a trip to the state finals this year at Ford Field, and when it, comes to, when it comes to our drama and vocal music programs, well, there's only one thing to say this year, Les Mis. To this day, Amazon Alexa at the Koskis House still gets directed to shuffle songs from Les Miserables. And every time I hear those songs, I can't help but visualize the DHS auditorium stage and say to myself, the vocals were better at Dakota. Our student government captured the Michigan Association of Student Council's Award of Excellence and Star School Award while also serving as the host school for the MASC State Conference this year, hosting over 2,000 student leaders from across the state of Michigan. Our visual arts students captured multiple Scholastic Art Competition Gold and Silver Key Awards. Model UN earned the highest honors for best prepared school at the Mid-American Model UN Conference. 12 DHS students qualified for the BPA, Business Professionals of America, state competition. DHS Project Unify was identified as the school club raising the most money for donations at this year's Macomb Polar Plunge to benefit Special Olympics. The list could go on and on. The accomplishments of our student club and activities groups during this school year was incredibly impressive. Our athletic teams also continue to set the bar of excellence in possibly the most competitive area in the state of Michigan. 
During this school year, Dakota High School athletic teams won numerous championships and had dozens of students honored, named to honorary teams at the conference, county, and state levels. If this is not evidence of an outstanding athletic department and coaching staff, I don't know what is. As a whole, I'm always amazed that our students are as involved in school as they are and they perform and achieve at the level that they do. Our CTE programs in engineering and design, Woods, Culinary Arts, and our Medical Academy continue to be recognized as some of the tops in the state. Academically, our advanced placement data continues to be impressive. Having given over 2,000 AP exams in the past two years, a vast majority of which were taken by members of the class of 2020. A large number of our students also attend college courses while being enrolled at Dakota, whether through dual enrollment or our early college program. This year, we are graduating 255 seniors with academic honors for having earned a grade point average of 3.50 or better. This is all because of the high standards that we set at Dakota it combined with our students' commitment and dedication to meet those standards and surpass them with flying colors. Thank you and congratulations, Class of 2020, on all that you've accomplished. We have a lot to be proud of in terms of accomplishments of our many student groups, teams, and academic programs, without a doubt. However, at this time, I would also like to rec recognize a few students individually for their achievements this year. Two wonderful examples of the highest level of involvement and academic achievement as members of this graduating class are Ms. Zoe Posios and Mr. George Rabati. Their academic success and involvement in school activities earned them the honor of being this year's Pinnacle Award winners. As a result of being named winners of one of Dakota's most prestigious honors, Zoe and George will be forever chronicled as part of Dakota's history honored on a plaque next to the Class of 2020 composite photo and this year's summa cum laude graduates. I would be remiss if I also didn't recognize a very significant accomplishment by two of our seniors that ordinarily would have been noted at our senior awards night. These two students in the Class of 2020 earned perfect attendance for their entire high school careers. It is my pleasure to recognize Joseph Pauls and Lucas Pape for this tremendous accomplishment and commend them on their demonstration of incredible commitment to success in school through the utmost exemplary attendance. Dakota also had three students named to the Macomb Area Conference All Academic Team for this year. Lucas Pape, George Rabati, and Al Adam Zelenowski, with George earning MAC All Academic Dream Team honors. And I'd also like to take an opportunity to recognize our departmental Students of the Year award winners, who also would have been recognized at Senior Awards Night. Abby Kleinstiver and Colin Jeffers earned this year's Academic Success Award. Our English Department Student of the Year is Isabella Plotti. The Social Studies and Math Department Student of the Year is George Rabati. The Science Department Student of the Year is Spencer Wozniak. The Marketing Department Student of the Year is Gemma Kelly. And the Business Department Student of the Year is Mackenzie Mertz. Congratulations to all of our departmental students of the year. And now to the class of 2020, I'd like to share some reflections on the 2019-20 school year and some thoughts looking ahead. Looking into the camera and out into the de empty Dakota Auditorium to deliver this message brings with it many thoughts and emotions. The last time we were together in this room was for the class of 2020 class meeting back in September. During that gathering, we had the unique opportunity to take a bit of a trip down memory lane, reflecting on the very first class meetings you attended here at Dakota with your biology classmates working with Mr. Jones and I on goal setting during your freshman year. During our time together during those goal setting presentations, we stressed the importance of establishing priorities, developing discipline, and pursuing one's goals in school and life by beginning with the end in mind. You also signed the Class of 2020 Book of Commitment as part of the matriculation ceremony at DHS 9, affirming your commitment to graduate from high school in four years. And now an end is here today as we celebrate your graduation from high school, albeit in a manner that none of us would have ever imagined. But just as much as you are reaching an end, you have also arrived at a new starting point to commence 
with the next phase of your lives as young adults. We celebrate a commencement ceremony today to mark a new beginning. In order to make, in order to make the most of whatever your new beginning will be, I encourage you to reflect on your journey to this point. From your start at Dakota High School, we have stressed the importance of developing and cultivating growth mindset as students and young people. We have emphasized the value of taking risks and pushing yourself academically and not being afraid of failure. We've stressed the value of hard work and persistence and the good that comes from struggle. We open this year's senior class meeting by revisiting some of the exact same PowerPoint slides you were presented at DHS 9 years ago. The principles we have tried to impart in you endure. They are as, just as applicable for freshmen as they are for seniors. As we started this school year in your class meeting, we also expanded our focus to emphasize the importance of developing resiliency and showing your cougar pride by being prepared, showing respect, acting with integrity, demonstrating dedication, and also showing empathy. And now, as we close this year, I encourage you to begin the next part of your journey focusing on those same principles we talked about way back on September 5th. And this is why. As the week of March 9th dawned, increasing attention was being paid to a new virus that was causing increasing concern across the globe and in our country and our state. At school, we stepped up our efforts to make sure our soap dispensers were full, encouraging students to re report empty ones by putting a reminder label, label sticker on all of them. I also still have a stack of posters on my desk that were supposed to have been posted around the building to remind everyone to practice good hygiene and wash their hands frequently. For me, a moment I will always remember though, happened on Tuesday, March 10th. During the late afternoon, I was driving down Shaner to Utica Ford High School to watch our girls basketball team in their regional playoff game when my own girls, riding in the back seat of my truck, looking at my cell phone while playing DJ for the radio, told me I had just received a text message that the concert I was planning to attend on Saturday night was canceled due to concerns about coronavirus. I was surprised and disappointed to say the least. I even tongue in cheek threatened to delete the artist's music from my library, frustrated that the cancellation of the concert, in my opinion, was such an overreaction. Little did I know. We got to the game, our girls won and set their sights on the next game against, uh, two days later against Eisenhower. As we all know, that game never happened like so much else. In just over 48 hours between Tuesday and Thursday, our state went from its first reported cases of COVID-19 to closing all its public schools. And the rest, as we know, is history. What was originally viewed as, by some as a coronacation from school and work quickly became far more serious. As the volume of COVID-19 cases exploded in our state and especially the Metro Detroit region, the coronavirus pandemic became very real. Many who are watching this ceremony today have been touched or profoundly impacted by COVID-19. Some have suffered through this terrible disease, while others have lost friends or loved ones. The human impact and the suffering and grief that has been wrought by COVID-19 has had devastating impacts for many people in our community. For us at school, especially for our seniors, we have experienced grief as a, loss, as a series of losses as well with seniors last day, prom, the senior all night party, and in-person commencement at Freedom Hill all having been canceled. The natural process of grieving the loss of these major events and celebration, celebrations as part of the culmination of senior year has evolved over the past several weeks. There's been anger followed by denial, then bargaining. If we just social distance, we can make it work, all within the context of a lingering sadness over the whole situation. The loss of so many things that our seniors, their families, and we as a school community, community were looking forward to has created adversity and challenges. But it has also provided impactful and important experiences that we can gain from. As time has passed, everyone has followed their own path in progressing through the stages of that grieving process over what was lost at the end of this year, with each of us arriving at varying degrees of acceptance as to what has happened. With this ceremony marking our seniors' commencement to the next phase of our li their lives, it's important to take time not only to reflect, 
but it's just as, if not more important, to turn our eyes to the future. No one will ever forget what the class of 2020 lost this year. But even with that said, our seniors have a unique story to tell for forevermore, and a set of experiences as high school students that leave this class perhaps more prepared to take on the world than any of its predecessors. Resilience was a focus at that senior class meeting back on September 5th. We defined resilience at that meeting as the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties, demonstrating toughness. Little did anyone know what would lie ahead over the course of the year. No DHS graduating class has been required to step up and show more resilience than the class of 2020. From the emotional toll of the COVID-19 pandemic to the abrupt and complete transition to online learning, to the loss of so many rites of passage, you've been required to develop your capacity to recover quickly from difficulties and demonstrate perseverance and resilience time and time again in the closing stretch of your high school career. And you've risen to the occasion at every turn. As we've moved through the spring, we've done our best to try and provide uplifting experiences to fill the emotional void left by the losses that you felt. Through those efforts, you've had unique experiences that no other senior class can say that they've had. And more importantly, perhaps than anything, we've all been reminded of the importance of grit and supporting one another through everything that we've experienced together. As the saying goes, we haven't all been in the same boat, but we've been in the same storm. And we will all emerge from this storm stronger and better equipped than we otherwise would have been in order to take on the future. Think about it. Class of 2020, if you as young people can get through this and emerge even stronger, is there anything that can stop you going forward? I encourage you to be reflective, not only on your four years of high school, but specifically these last three months. As you embrace the path ahead and chart the course for your next steps in life, always remember the resilience, resilience you showed as a class and as individuals in finishing your school year and your K-12 education with the strength that you did. Move forward with a commitment to yourself and others to always face adversity head on and to do your part to promote the common good by showing empathy and demonstrating support for your soon to be fellow alumni, your families, your fellow citizens around our state, nation, and the globe. Even during these times, there is so much to be grateful for. The end of senior year for the class of 2020 also reminds us of the importance of living life in the moment. This class, more than any other, knows how important it is to appreciate each other and the experiences that life brings, because you can't always take even the simple things for granted. If the last three months has reminded us of anything, it's the importance of cherishing the moments and experiences we have together. As you go forward, I implore you to live life with a grateful heart, staying in your moments as they come your way, and be present with family and friends in those moments, with your eyes up and off your screens. Invest in your relationships and soak up every one of life's experiences. As you know, you never know when things might completely change. Class of 2020, you have a lot to be proud of. You have an incredibly bright future ahead. These conditions will not last forever, but I truly hope that the lessons will. I sincerely hope that you take what you learned at Dakota High School, especially through the experiences of your senior year, to meet whatever challenges come your way and conquer the world. As a staff and community, we cannot wait to see what you achieve. It is now my distinct pleasure and honor to introduce Mr. Ron Roberts, our district superintendent, to say a few words. Mr. Roberts began his career with Chippewa Valley Schools as an elementary teacher in 1978. He taught for 13 years, 
before becoming a building administrator for the next 13 years of his career. Mr. Roberts served as the principal of Miami Elementary and Cheyenne Elementary in 2004. Mr. Roberts accepted the position of executive director of elementary education. In the same year, he was promoted to assistant superintendent for district curriculum. Mr. Roberts has served as a superintendent of Chippewa Valley Schools since December of 2010. Mr. Roberts has always been someone to admire in our district. He sets high expectations for us as employees and constantly serves as a model of successful leadership. He is a role model to all of us as a successful educator, a natural leader, and a true supporter of students. It is now my pleasure to introduce Mr. Ron Roberts. Thank you for that introduction, Mr. Koskis. I appreciate that. Good afternoon, everyone. I consider it an honor to be addressing the graduating class of 2020 and all those people that are with you to celebrate this occasion. To begin, I want to let you know that I consider it a privilege to be the superintendent of Chippewa Valley Schools. I also want to thank our Board of Education for their dedication to this district. I know that they are watching with you. In fact, two of our board members have children graduating this year, so they too are part of this new format. Graduates, I know this is not what you expected. All of us thought, up to just a short while ago, that this ceremony would be taking place at Freedom Hill on this day. But as we all begrudgingly learned, this was not to be. Regardless, this does not diminish your accomplishments. For 12 and 2 thirds years, you had a really pretty typical experience. School as a rule went on as planned, except for the occasional snow day. This was a time you longed for. I know this because with the first snowflake you witnessed gently fl float through the air as you peered out your window, my Twitter feed began to light up. Please, Ron, I can't drive in this weather. I know I'll crash and it will be your fault, you would write. The pleading would go on for hours. I always say, be careful what you wish for because as you all know, the class of 2020, without really trying, became the snow day champs of history. Hopefully, no one ever again comes even remotely close. Please don't let this unusual ending cloud what really occurred in your time at Chippewa Valley Schools. Think of what you have done. Built homes for Habitat for Humanity, performed in Broadway quality musicals. You've devoted many hours to athletics and participated at a high level. You've worked hard and may be graduating with honors. You've developed skills you did not realize you had through our CTE programs. You worked in hospitals. You've been in choir shows and band performances and created gallery-worthy art. You've raised money for charities, and now you may be good at speaking a foreign language. You've even advocated for laws that improve the quality of life in this community. Graduates, it is amazing how far you have come with the dedication and conviction of skilled teachers and the love of parents who encouraged you every step of the way. Students, you are graduating today from high school, and you should know that our high schools currently have the most demanding graduation requirements ever in our state's history. Take pride in that. Over the course of your education, you have displayed many strengths in an institution whose greatest strength may be the diverse backgrounds from which you come. In our melting pot society, inhabited largely by immigrants and descendants of immigrants, there is nothing better that we can do than to cultivate and celebrate the inherent strength and good of diversity. After all, this is what forms the core of our great nation. Those whom we honor today are of different races, ethnicities, genders, socioeconomic status, physical abilities, religious beliefs, and political beliefs. It just makes so much sense to me that since you will inherit a country and world that is so diverse, shouldn't you attend a school that reflects this? There is no better way to strengthen the understanding of bonds between people than by having them grow up and be educated together. Students, I give you my guarantee that going to school with others that are different from you will better prepare you for the world that awaits. 
Students, as you graduate from high school and move on, I have the confidence that you will be able to contribute to making this world a better place. We have witnessed the foundation for success being laid during your K-12 education, and there is no reason for that not to translate to bigger and better things in your future. Yes, students, your senior year became quite unusual. You missed out on many things that traditionally mark this time in your life. I urge you to not let this cast a shadow on your accomplishments. Although you did not intend to, you probably learned many life lessons during this time that will make you a stronger person as you go forward. Even though you probably did not want to be around your family as much as you have, and they probably did not want to be around you as much either, you have probably come to a deeper appreciation of their importance. You probably were reminded of patience and not being able to have everything you want immediately. You probably have developed resilience, the ability to persevere and get through a difficult situation. And most importantly, you had a real life lesson in something that has been taught in school since you were very young, and that is doing something for the common good. You were asked to stay home, to not only protect your life, but also the lives of others. You did it, and we did it together. Parents, thank you for allowing us to play such an important role in the life of your children. Students, thank you for your contributions to our school district and to this community. Congratulations and good luck to you, the 2020 graduating class of Dakota High School. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Roberts. It is now my pleasure to introduce a special group of musicians to the stage for our, our musical interlude. Here to perform Fanfare Glorious are Brendan Clancy, Michael Grayson, Parker McFarlane, Brendan Ramaya, and DHS Band Director, Mr. Justin McCarowitz.
Thank you, Brendan, Michael, Parker, Brendan, and Mr. Makarowitz for a wonderful performance. And now I would like to introduce Ms. Antonetta Nikai. Antonetta, as our senior class president, has worked tirelessly to make our school what it is, and I am proud of the leadership she has shown this year. Antonetta will now share a few words on behalf of the senior class. A graduation to most is a given, but for us, it wasn't guaranteed, nor is it what we expected. However, it's with great pleasure that I welcome everyone tuning in to the graduation of Dakota High School's Class of 2020. We began this year ready to live out our last and prepared ourselves for the days we would say our final goodbyes. On a random Thursday night in March, we were told the next day would be our last for a while. Things were getting bad. When I heard the news, I broke out in immediate tears, as it seemed to be some twisted nightmare. But then I thought, hey, it's only a month. So I brushed it off, woke up the next morning, and carried on the day as usual. Little did I, nor anyone else know, that would be our very last day. The last time we would be seated in a traditional classroom setting with all our teachers and classmates. The last time we would be dismissed by those ridiculous bells. The last time we would sit at those round lunch tables, talking nonsense and eating delectable tater tots. The last time we would walk our regular routes between classes, and the last time we would see all those familiar faces in one place. And the day we were told those were our last, everything became so utterly and heartbreakingly real. In a, time, in a time where some good is needed, I would like to acknowledge that as teenagers, we have an abundance of faults. And that includes forgetting to recognize and appreciate those around us. So on behalf of all my fellow classmates, I first want to thank our teachers, counselors, and administrators. Thank you for continuing to expand our brains and for being the strongest support team we could have asked for. We appreciate all the hard work and patience you've shown us. Thank you for giving back parts of what we had taken from us and continuing to provide us with hope and excitement. I'd like to thank all the family and friends sitting alongside our graduates and those who joined to see us walk across the stage. Thank you for checking in on one another and for being the shining sun during our cloudy days. Now a special shout out to my wonderful parents and siblings my number one supporters. I will forever be in debt for all that you've done for me. My love and gratitude for you all is insurmountable. And lastly, to the most immaculate students that should be sitting in front of me today, I thank you from the absolute bottom of my heart. Through my meager 18 years, the hardest thing I've ever done is attempt to explain the words, to explain the gratitude and emotions I feel towards you all, for it is something that can't be explained and no string of words a dictionary has to offer seems adequate. Four years ago, I walked into the freshman center, absolutely petrified as to what was in store for me. Never would I have ever imagined the stories and family I would leave with. My request to you is to not invalidate your feelings. We are allowed to be upset, to be angry, and to be frustrated. But we also cannot dwell on what could have been. Look back and appreciate all the good we were able to experience, the memories we were able to create, and then cherish in good years to come. We cannot allow three months of bad overpower four years of so much good. Flash forward to today, after everything we have endured, I can finally say, we did it. We have survived one of the most important milestones in our lives. We have worked hard, studied hard, and cried hard to get to this point. We have worked relentlessly for 13 years, and it has paid off, as we now have a wonderful tool for this world, one that will open endless doors of opportunity. We also leave with an understanding of the unpredictability of the world. Nothing carries on as planned, and life is no exception to the rule. There is no code of conduct or manual that will guide us through our journey. This graduation marks our passage into adulthood, into the real world, a world where we choose where the rest of our lives takes us, where we decide our own values and opinions, and where we can make a difference where it is needed most. And while it is a world full of uncertainty and obstacles, you will find your place, a place where you are the main character in an award-winning film, a place where you can shape the world, a place where your dreams become a reality, and lastly, a place where the best version of yourself exists. And as I close this speech, I want to remind everyone that the greatest gift to give yourself in this single monumental moment in your life is to wholeheartedly and unapologetically commit to the journey and not to the outcome. We will make mistakes and experience heartbreaks, but there is so much growth and love this world has to offer. Do not take any of it for granted and grow as each day passes. And most importantly, in the words of Henry David Thorian, 
Go confidently in the directions of your dreams. Live the life you have imagined. Thank you, Antonetta. And now we will hear from our 2020 commencement staff speaker. Here to introduce this year's speaker is Ms. Mi Ms. Marissa Kilroy. A teacher affects eternity. He can never tell where his influence stops. Our words said by Henry Adams, and I truly believe that they embody the teacher that I have the privilege to speak upon the behalf of. It is my greatest honor to introduce our senior chosen staff speaker, Dr. McFarlane. 23 years ago, Dr. McFarlane was given a job by Dakota almost immediately after her college graduation. And she explained it to me as, I am constantly amazed that they let me do something I love every day and they actually pay me to do it. She now currently teaches AP Psychology and is a Social Studies Department Chair. Dr. McFarlane is surrounded by a loving family, her husband Jeff, her two dogs Diesel and Guinness, and her son Parker. Dr. McFarlane is a ball of energy and I can say on the behalf of her students that she makes learning extremely fun. She enables her students to understand what work ethic should look like and how to make the best out of any situation. Other than being a remarkable AP psychology teacher, she has many hobbies outside of school, including weightlifting, reading, cooking, and flipping houses with her husband. Let me tell you all, I have never seen anyone work a power tool like Dr. McFarlane. She embodies what a teacher should be, encouraging, compassionate, humorous, and kind. I had the privilege of serving as our class vice president alongside her as she is one of our class advisors and Dr. McFarland made me enjoy every single moment I had with class council. And I am beyond blessed to work alongside such a hardworking woman. Without further ado, please join me in welcoming the outstanding Dr. McFarland. Welcome back, my friends. Happy graduation day. A couple of things to get us started. Graduates, I want you to turn to the people who are next to you and behind you, the way they've been next to you and behind you every step of the journey that brought you to today. Your parents, grandparents, siblings, and friends have loved you and supported you and encouraged you and maybe pushed you just a little. And although today is a celebration of you, it's also a celebration for them. Tell them thanks. I could not have been more excited when I was selected to be the staff member to speak to you today. While every class of graduates I've known in Dakota since the very first one in 1998 has been special to me for one reason or another, the class of 2020 holds a unique place in my heart, far surpassing all others. And this is not, as some of you may be guessing, just because my son is a Dakota High School class of 2020 graduate. It's also because since my son has been in Chippewa Valley schools since he started going to school, I've known some of you since your first day of school at Fox Elementary. I watched some of you grow into teenagers at Iroquois Middle School. I've watched many of you catch your first football at the Macomb Rec Flag football teams, or win your first spelling bee, or build your first Lego robot, or play or sing in your first band or choir concert. Like many teachers, I tend to think of every group of students I ever have as my kids. But you kids have been my kids for a very long time. And although this is not the way I expected graduation day to roll, I am so honored and thrilled to be one of the last teachers to say goodbye to you as you move on to whatever comes next. And I figured the best way to share my thoughts with you as you rush off into your futures is the message I say to my class every Friday as they rush off into their weekend. Every Friday, each hour, I stand in the doorway of my classroom as the bell rings, and I say, be good, be safe, have fun. And uh, this earns me some eye rolls and some snickers and some, oh, you too, Dr. McFarlane. But it truly encompasses everything I hope that you will take with you as you leave Dakota High School. Be good. Be good to the world in the communities in which you will live. Volunteer for organizations and causes that are close to your heart and will benefit from all that you have to offer. Don't litter and always use your turn signal. Be good to the people around you. Say thank you and please. Call your mom just to say you miss her. Be the friend people turn to when they want to celebrate and when they need help moving. Always remember the people closest to you will love you no matter what, but that doesn't, make, that doesn't mean you should take them for granted. Hug them. Be good to yourself. Eat right. Exercise. 
Celebrate yourself graciously when you have victories. Be kind to yourself when you have failures. Realize that if you're overstretched and overstressed, it's okay to say no to taking on any more. Take a nap or go for a walk or do whatever it is that restores you. Be safe. If the last few months have taught us nothing, it's that the world can sometimes be a little bit scary and a little bit unpredictable. Take care of each other. Be the person who offers a friend a safe ride home. Wear your seatbelt. Always remember that you are a precious gift. And although we want to wrap you in bubble wrap and protect you from every possible harm or hurt, we know that we can't, so make good choices. Have fun. Yes, it is possible to be both safe and have fun, I promise. Try to take joy in the small things. Dance around a little when you do your household chores. Sing along in the car. Pet a dog. Eat an ice cream cone. Surround yourself with people who make you laugh, especially those like can't stop crying laugh moments where you can't catch your breath and you start giggling every time you start to think you finally have it under control. Find those people and keep them close. But the most important advice I can give you for the have fun part relates to what you will pursue when you leave Dakota High School. Listen up, people. This is the $20 info. Whatever it is you choose to do with your life, choose something you find fun. Follow your passion. What Marissa said in her intro is true. I am thrilled that I could get up every morning and come do something I love with and for the people I love. And they pay me to do it. Now, I've not always been thrilled with the early start time or the crazy traffic jams getting in and out of school, but the rest of it, yeah, it's fun. And the last few months have really made me realize that the pre-dawn wake-ups and the scary left turns were a small price to pay to get to be in my classroom with you every day. As you prepare for and pursue your futures, find what is fun for you. Find the thing that makes all the hard work getting there and all the less fun parts worth the effort. Find the thing that you would want to do, even if it didn't come with a paycheck. Find the thing that makes you say, I can't believe I get to do this every day. To you, the graduates of the class of 2020, I love you, I will miss you, be good, be safe, and have fun. Thank you, Dr. McFarlane. And now performing the Class of 2020 class song, Don't Stop Me Now. Please enjoy this compilation assembled by senior members of the Dakota Choir under the direction of Mr. Alex Walker. Tonight I'm gonna have myself a real good time. I feel alive. Stopping me. I'm burning through the sky, yeah. 200 degrees, that's why they call me Mr. Fahrenheit. I'm driven in the speed of light. I wanna make the supersonic man out of you. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Don't stop me now. If you wanna have a good time, just give me a call. Sky, yeah, 200 degrees, that's why they call me Mr. Fahrenheit. I'm traveling at the speed of light, I want to make a supersonic man out of you. Don't stop me now, I'm having such a good time, I'm having a ball. Don't, Don't stop, stop me now, if you want to have a good time, just give me a call. Don't stop me Stop at all. Don't stop me. No, no, no. Don't, Don't stop, stop me. me. Uh, 
I don't want to stop at all. Don't stop me. No, no, no. Don't stop me. I don't want to stop at. Don't want to stop at. Thank you to our choir students and Mr. Walker. And now, to offer some reflections on behalf of the class of 2020, I'd like to introduce Joseph Pauls. Hello. Before I begin my speech, I think it's only fair to say who I am. My name is Joseph Pauls, and I've been a student of Chippewa Valley School ever since I walked in a little turtle so many years ago. And here I stand today, amongst my fellow seniors. We've all endured quite a long journey to end up here, in these caps and in these gowns. All 700 of us. It's truly a moment to behold. You know, some people would say, 700 students. My entire high school had 400 students, and your grade alone has 700. I'd never want to be part of such an ungodly number of students. But I wouldn't want our class to be any other way. Each of us has affected the others and helped us grow into the people we are today, one way or another even though there are 700 students. Each of us has left behind our own legacy. Some of these 700 students were part of Footloose, or Les Miserables, or The Outsiders, or any of the other productions we put on over these four years. Some students have taken photographs and created artwork that will be remembered and appreciated for many years to come. Some of these students created hilarious videos like DTV. Some in the engineering program created the award-winning Scorpion three-wheeler. Some created performances such as choir and band concerts that will be remembered by the audience for quite some time. Some created and joined clubs like Scientific Debate Club and Junior Statesmen of America to challenge their beliefs and to learn outside of the classroom. Some were donating their time to charity through NHS. Some clogged the toilets and got it sent home an hour early. But one thing all of us did was paint our handprints onto the walls of Dakota to be seen by generations of students to come. Those handprints are truly a symbol, stating, we were here, stating, I was in that play, or I made that video, or I made that three wheel, stating, I was here when student government hosted that charity week, stating, I was here for that time we came together to overcome the challenges that COVID-19 posed. And while we have finished creating our legacies here at Dakota High School, we still have a legacy to create for our futures. A legacy to leave behind at the university we attend, or the military we enlist in, or at the places we work. While this may feel like the end of a long journey, it's actually the beginning to a much longer one. The journey to leave our mark on the world like we left our mark in the school with those handprints. The journey to touch others' hearts and truly create an impact on the world around us. This won't be an easy journey, but it's sure to be one that we can fill with joy and satisfaction. My fellow students, my friends, let us embark on this journey together. Thank you. Thank you, Joseph. At this time, as we prepare to present our graduates, I'll be sharing some information related to the sequence of the presentation, as well as details pertaining to some of the regalia being worn by our seniors in their individual photos. Our procession of graduates will begin with those students graduating with highest honors. We will start our processional with an alphabetical presentation of our 108 summa cum laude graduates, all of whom have earned a grade point average of 3.90 or higher through their first seven semesters of their high school careers. Following the summa cum laude graduates, all remaining graduates will be presented in alphabetical order with our 59 magna cum laude graduates with a GPA of 3.75 to 3.89 and our 85 cum laude graduates with GPAs of 3.50 to 3.74 being recognized with announcement of their honor status as their names and photos are presented. All students graduating with honors will be pictured wearing their academic achievement medal with a gold ribbon. In addition, many of our graduates will be pictured wearing a variety of honor cords. Members of the Dakota NHS chapter will be wearing gold cords. These students have maintained high academic standing while volunteering in our community and for our school. Wearing silver cords will be the members of the Dakota student government. These students are responsible for serving as our school's student leaders and planning many school and community events. Wearing green honor cords will be the students who were identified as the top students in particular academic departments. Wearing a powder blue and yellow cord will be members of Mu Alpha Theta National Math Honor Society. This group not only displays great ability and talent in the area of mathematics, but also serves as tutors for students at our school. 
In addition, you will see many of our students wearing other honor cords representing clubs, groups, and national organizations they have been active in while at, while at Dakota High School. Some of these groups are Model UN, Key Club, Business Professionals of America, DECA, Health Occupation Student Association, HOSA, Society of Women Engineers, Future Educators of America, National Art Honor Society, National German Honor Society, Rho Kappa Social Studies Honor Society, and Science Olympiad. And now, it is my pleasure to present to you, on behalf of the DHS faculty, the members of the Dakota High School Class of 2020, who have fulfilled the graduation requirements as set forth by the Chippewa Valley Board of Education. Sandra Abu. Jake Adams. Marissa Anderson. Chloe Austin. Abigail Barch. Giovanni Battaglia. Kate Battaglia. Kayla Bazinski. Ishmael Bazi. Callista Benedict. Jennifer Black. Katie Braniff. Zachary Burnham. Elena Celestini. Zachary Colo. Michaela Crum. Rihanna Kirtan. Olivia D'Angelo. Luke Denko. Alondra Daoud. Lauren Davis. Victoria DeAngelis. Ashley Dobson. Sydney Elzerman. Angelina Iovaldi. Karam Fakori. Morgan Ferguson. Alexa Finkley. Alexa Forey. Michael Fullerton. Kyle Gable. Kaylee Garish. Grant Gustafson. Santina Haddad. Michaela Happel. Alexa Hempel. Katen Huynh. Victoria Jobchik. Kevin Juma. Zachary Yurik. Maya Kalsi. Simmerpreet Carr. 
Mackenzie Klein, Rebecca Colin, David Koschisch, Catherine Kotenko, Jessica Kressner. Hannah Kaczynski, Brett Lambert, Irene Lee, Holden Lideline, Najud Mady. Brendan Mayer, Bennett Malberg, Trevor Markwood, Isabella Mara, Madeline McDonald. Connor McCune, Abigail Mercer, Mackenzie Mertz, Alex Milana, Giovanni Mosheri. Sophia Nastasi, Nestor Nestorovsky, Eric Old, Michael Ostrowski, May Lee Papa. Lucas Pape, Brett Palowski, Carolyn Peters, Isabella Platy, Zoe Posios. George Rabati, Adam Randazzo, April Ray, Jacob Rhodes, Courtney Ring. Jonathan Rizzo, Christiana Rosa, Gianni Rosa, Jacob Sand, William Sawyer. Sean Swessinger, Kennedy Scott, Brendan Center, Emma Shores, Genevieve Siv. Allison Sokaz, Madeline Saint Pierre, Michelle Staffen, Isabella Stewart, Caitlin Struckel. 
Justin Tamplin, Carly Tim, Morgan Tome, Abigail Trozak, Nicholas Valentage. Samantha Verlinden, Bianca Vitali, Jason Wend, Vincent Wang, Rebecca Witkowski. Kennedy Wood, Madison Wood, Spencer Wozniak, Abigail Wright, Michael Yarrow. Adam Zilineski, Luke Adams, Bailey Agbe, Ethan Ahmed, Isabella Alla. Ali Alasadi, Andrew Alexander, Anthony Allen, Majid Al Osici, Angel Alvarez. Alina Amore, Jacob Ranzel Angari, Joshua Antunau, Lillian Arena, Samantha Arini. Christian Arteche, Nella Atu, Noah Opperly, Shaley Austin, Evrod Azor. Eva Bachua, Serena Baglio, Noah Bailes, Alexander Bailey, Don Ballard. Keegan Ballou, Gabriel Barbera, Anthony Barger, Noel Barker, Garrett Barnett. Joseph Barnett, Austin Bastian, Benjamin Bastone, Nicholas Baumgartner, Corinne Beal. 
Abrigian Bell, Tyler Bellini, Justin Bendinsky, Faith Benefield, Fallon Benefield. Madeline Bennett, Nolan Benoit, Orella Barisha, Jack Bialek, Michael Bianco. Trayvon Biddle, Jolie Bebock, Shannon Blazkowski, Sasha Boykovsky, Allison Booth. Adrian Bordeano, Nicholas Bhutan, Ella Boyd, Jacob Boyd, Peyton Bronner. David Briggs, Alexandra Britton, Grant Broll, Nicholas Brombach, Ethan Brown. Dylan Browning, Lily Bujan, Tristan Cachola Peck, Andrew Calamita, Jason Calapi. Rena Kamaj, Zachary Cantlin, Sarah Caputo, Alexis Caramagno, Nolan Carboni. Peyton Carlson, Emma Carpenter, Madison Cartwright, Louis Caruso, Thomas Cavender. Sydney Chan, Elizabeth Chang, Dayan Chaudhry, Bryce Chudzik, Mario Ciamillo. Brendan Chikelli, Alexandra Samaric, Alexa Sipaneri, Dylan Cipriano, Victoria Cipriano. 
Brendan Clancy. Jasmine Clark. Trevor Clark. Grace Ann Marie Clark Narekai. Dominic Colella. Madison Coleman. Majesty Coleman. Anadora Collar. Drake Como. Rowan Cook. Madeline Cooley. Bailey Cooper. Nolan Cooper. Aaron Cope. Antonio Cordova. Lucas Costello. Jenna Cowell. Brendan Crawford. Jennifer Cronin. Kenneth Crutchfield. Kylie Cookie. Alexis Coratolo. Isabella Curry. Ben Cazenza. Dimitar Svekovsky. Maya Svekovsky. Dante Debdub. Mary Daisy. Monica Daka. Corbin Daly. Jordan Daniels. Stavrola Daniel. Eric Jason Daulo. Darden Davis. Shaylin Deer. Poljoka Dedvukovic. Isabella Delmott. Lily Demers. Jack Demetral. Antonio Deskovsky. Zachary Despic. Joseph DeGrande. Alyssa Demofsky. Daniel Demofsky. Eric Dizdarovic. Stefan Georgievich. Samantha Dobies. Nicholas Dos Santos. Natalia Dowell. Alexis Drake. 
Brittany Drake. Brody Dreher. Nicholas Drescher. Miles Dragalski. Darius Dudley. Jada Dudley. Trevor Duff. Christina Duhanai. Richard Dunford. Taylor Durst. Pierce Earl. Jaden Edwards. Ajia L. Haley England. Hunter England. Emily Erickson. Mitchell Ernat. Sarah Esleawa. Lillian Everly. Nicola Evkoski. Jenna Fabian. Nicholas Falls. Matthew Fazola. Victoria Ferguson. Isabella Ferretti. Kyle Finn. Joshua Firestone. Melanie Fistler. Joshua Flagg. Emma Flattery. Jeremy Flattery. Mackenzie Flenna. Alyssa Fleam. Eric Fote. Lana Forfutinov. Isabella Forth. Jakari Foster. Taylor Foster. Eric Frank. Ryan Franz. Harmon Freitas. Stefano Guy. Gabriella Gajo. Brendan Gallagher. Gino Galli. Zoe Galloway. Audrey Nicole Garibay. Delaney Garin. Michael Garant. Brendan Gowron. 
Samuel Gatos. Serena Gegovic. Sydney Jeanette. Reese Gurjikian. Zane Gariba. Logan Gilbertson. Christian Gillum. Madeline Gladeau. Xavier Glenn. Emily Glotzbach. Jose Gomez. Matthew Gomez. Vanessa Good Bergamo. Veronica Good Bergamo. Jose Gordillo Miranda. Michael Grayson. Amia Graham. Caitlin Grauka. Alexia Gramatico. Cameron Grant. Taylor Gray. Zachary Greaves. Vanessa Greenlaw. Drew Gramod. Emily Gruy. Devin Gray. Kendall Grice. Jacob Guitar. Michael Hagyard. Tyler Halock. Angelina Hanna. Zachary Harding. Anthony Hardy. Johnny Harris. Rihanna Harris. Faith Lynn Haven. Kayla Hawkins. Lily Hawkins. Mackenzie Hankey. Anna Hickey. Amanda Hill. Samantha Hill. Samuel Hintz. Kelly Hintz. Jasmine Hodges. Amanda Hoffman. Thea Holmquist. Grant Horton. Evan Houston. Brandon Howard. 
Kellen Hughes. Daniel Huck. Liam Hunt. Drake Hunter. Marie Hunter. Jenna Hurley. Noah Hurley. Zachary Hutchins. Gabriel Yacobelli. Cheyenne Iqbal. Jaden Ierson. Michael Ivaskiv. David Ivazai. Josephine Jaboro. Kyler Jackson. Tessa Jacobs. Leah Jasinski. McKenna Jagello. Brendan Jaxa. Anthony James. Katia Jamgochian. Joshua Janowski. Marino Jarbo. Colin Jeffers. Heather Jennings. Alexandria Johnson. Colin Johnson. Deontay Johnson. Joanne Johnson. Gabriella Jones. Luke Jones. Nina Julin. Alana Yunchai. Nicholas Jurge. Ornella Cato. Abigail Kaiser. Jamil Kaja. Tommy Kalo. Anna Karam. Dylan Kaysen. Haley Kassab. Alexa Kelly. Gemma Kelly. Selena Kenward. Isabella Carhoni. Austin Ketchum. Rehan Khalil. Christian Kiek. Tyler Kiek. Melissa Kilroy. 
Kaylee King. Paul King. Victoria Kirchinger. Miriam Kerma. Jason Kish. Abby Kleinstiver. Joshua Cloak. Brooke Klusek. Nina Koos. Christopher Kopek. Carly Koskis. Isabella Kozlowski. Adam Krasicki. Sarah Kradich. James Kressner. Juliana Kressner. Brandon Crony. Sofia Krestovsky. Shelby Kuhout. Caitlin Kurzawa. Nicholas Kuzmanovich. Maria Kwiczynska. Carissa Kyle. Julia Lafleur. Sarah Lalonde. Caitlin Lamb. Katie Lancaster. Joseph Lane. Kevin Langlands. Marissa LaRue. Alexandra Laskowski. Tyler LaDuke. Alex Lee. Serena Lafeef. Jessica Lankovich. Haley Lenneman. Keegan Lapateral. Tyler Less. Anna Lipsky. Emily Locano. Rachel Lockamy. Caitlin Lowing. Emily Long. Joseph Lorth. Ariana Louis Cameron. Antonio Lucas. Matthew Love. Danny Lucci. Kobe Lux. Connor McDonald. 
Brooke Mackey. Haley Mackin. Andrew Madigan. Benjamin Magnus. Mackenzie Marr. Melanie Moffett. Gabriella Malzahn. Christopher Mancani. Tej Manku. Julia Manna. Asusena Manzo Torres. Andrea Rose Marasigan. Greg Victor Marasigan. Madison Marcero. Matthew Marcero. Dante Marchese. Antonio Marshall. Jonathan Marshall. Isabella Marzak. Giacomo Mastronardi. Gabriel Mata. Jeremy Matzinger. Anthony Mazo. Mohamedou Mang. Elijah McCullum. Lauren McDougall. Parker McFarlane. Trevor McGregor. Alexis McKinney. Logan McLaughlin. Grace McLeod. Luigi Medini. Jacob Meehan. Brian Tate Mendoza. Eric Meredith. Mackenzie Michalak. Dominic Milana. Alyssa Miller. Brianna Miller. Seth Miller. Harris Minhas. Susan Miniweather. Komel Mirza. Marco Matrevsky. Gabriella Montre. Connor Moran. Lillian Morisi. Peyton Mosey. Dina Moyer. Noah Mulligan. 
Tyler Mullen. Noah Murray. Callan Minnie. Gabriella Nacarado. Isabella Nadaf. Ryan Nagel. Taya Nazarko. James Neal. Rachel Nesbitt. Ashley Newell. Madison Newton. Antonetta Nitsai. Lauren Nikolazic. Gioni Nikolbibai. Stefan Nikolovsky. Ian Nitterhaus. Darius Norton. Paige Notman. Parker Notman. Ryan Nowak. Michael Nunez. Madison O'Donnell. Olivia O'Donnell. Nicholas Olson. Connor O'Neill. Olivia Opiola. Bryce Orovitz. Camden Orlando. Gregory Orr. Sayana Osmanovic. Santino Pacito. Antonio Palazzolo. Juliana Palazzolo. Rosaria Palazzolo. Salvatore Palazzolo. Sophia Palushai. Heidi Palmer. Nicholas Palomba. Joseph Pappas. Brooke Pappard. Gabriella Pappas. Noah Paprocki. Jacob Parco. Darsh Patel. Joseph Pauls. James Peck. Jay Sean Peoples. Hannah Polino. Shane Percival. Ariana Perfetto. 
Austin Perini. Ethan Perone. Nicholas Perry. Shania Perriman. John Petro. Brianna Pezanowski. Carter Ferris. Alexa Piccarelli. Olivia Picklor. Jillian Pintal. Jessica Pinto. Paulo Pizzo. John Placidi. Riley Posner. Haley Pressel. Elizabeth Pressnell. Skylar Pretzer. Elijah Polst. Nathan Puma. Haley Putnam. Marissa Rakowski. Gianna Ramachi. Lauren Rommel. Crystal Ramos. Brett Randall. Angelo Randazzo. Rebecca Randazzo. Jared Rappin. Justin Reyes. Austin Raymer. Jordan Reed. Alexis Reese. Jeffrey Rose. Macy Rice. Andrea Rico. Blake Riser. Briella Rizzo. Brandon Rogers. Ryan Rollins. Shane Rombach. Joshua Romero. Jade Rosa. Jenna Ross Kelly. Brandon Ross. Trevor Jared Rost. Jessica Rajensky. McKenna Rusin. Carl Rostoni. Kara Ryman. Nicholas Sadlaka. 
Maya Saif. Nico Saputo. Alexa Sarnacki. Isabella Savage. Gabriella Scalzi. Caitlin Schaefer. Mason Shaft. Samantha Schatz. Jenna Shireline. Jenna Shinky. Austin Schroeder. Nathan Schroeder. Haley Schultz. Zachary Schultz. Dominic Schweitzer. Margaret Sculo. Gabriela Sanowski. Angeli Sellers. Vincenzo Selva. Fada Sara. Nathan Shields. Tony Shalaku. Christian Seba. Christopher Simich. Abigail Sims. Jack Sims. Robert Simoski. Joseph Sinistai. Spressa Sinistai. Kayla Skapiak. Mario Skyfry. Emma Smith. Jermeryl Smith. Nathan Smith. Rodrigo Solorzano. Evan Sadorovsky. Deandra Spaniolo. Jake Spilko. Alexander Spirovsky. Gage Spooner. Carrington Stallworth. Andrew Stanick. Caitlin Stowecki. Simona Stefanovska. Mackenzie Stenzel. Jada Stepp. Cameron Sturmer. Jacob Strauchman. John Carl Suarez. Christian Suhaki. 
Jordan Swade, Josephina Sufi, Jacob Seleski, Mackenzie Zaley. Jacob Slaga, Quentin Slaga, Alyssa Tar, Stacy Taylor, Stephanie Chartakova. Sandra Tegeltia, Edwin Diaz Alvarez, Cameron Temple, Daniela Tini, Grace Thomas. Jarem Thomas, John Thomas, Maya Thomas, Eli Thompson, Travis Thompson. Michael Threat, Anthony Tilly, Nicholas Tiseo, Joey Toko, Joseph A. Toko. Rosie Toko, Alexandra Tom, Joachino Torres, Joseph Torres, Clarissa Toyer. Alex Tripcheski, Jada Tellus, Franklin Turhani, Emma Turner, Zarek Turner. Gabrielle Tursky, Gavin Ulowitz, Kirsten Underwood, Brandon Ung, Audrey Valley. Savannah Van Gorder, Abigail Van Slambrook, Ryan Van Slambrook, Karime Vega Sanchez, Riley Varelian. Jeremiah Vernon, Megan Vigiano, Ethan Villamir, Jacob Verostic, Gina Vitali. Christopher Vo, 
Nathan Vose. Dylan Vondet. Jayla Walker. Shane Waller. Nicole Wameo. Catherine Wanamaker. Benjamin Ward. Selena Warner. Bryce Warzniak. Andrew Wayne. Bradley Weand. Tyson Wheeler. Liam White. Jackson Wilking. Haley Williams. Kira Williams. Kennedy Willis. Olivia Wilson. Jacob Wilson. John Wilson. Reagan Wilson. Joshua Winters. Juliana Witt. Connor Wolfgang. Molly Woods. Andrew Wooters. Justin Wylan. Zoe Wynn. Maximilian Yang. Olivia Yates. Anson Yi. Benjamin Yi. Leah Yukonis. Brayden Zarschler. Alizur Zaytuna. Noah Zielinski. Kyle Zito. Benjamin Zuska. Congratulations once again, class of 2020. And now I would like to invite Antonetta Nikai, your president, back to the podium to lead the turning of the tassels. Now please join me in the honor of moving our tassels from the right to the left. Here's to the class of 2020. I wish you all the absolute best in your journey. We are strong, we are resilient, and we are the future. Thank you. Class of 2020, I would like to congratulate you one final time. We are proud of you and everything you have accomplished as students at Dakota High School. And we look forward to watching what you achieve as the newest class of proud Dakota alumni. We wish each and every one of you all the best on your future. This concludes the spoken portion of the 2020 Dakota High School commencement ceremony. We thank you for joining us 
and would also like to give everyone in the audience our best wishes for good health, wellness, and prosperity in the future. Thank you. <laughs>